Okay, so I am really excited for this one. What I have here in front of me, uh, as you can probably tell, I have four different Ludwig Toms. And yes, these are different. They are specced out hardware-wise to be exactly the same, but they are four different shell types from Ludwig. Now, this is from a sort of like Ludwig Tom taste test station that's being set up in uh, West Coast Drum Shop right now, but I have the opportunity to, to pull them into my room and do some tests for you all here. So what we're trying to get to the bottom of is a question that I have kicked around and we have all kicked around as drummers forever, which is how much of a difference does the shell actually make? And there are two diametrically opposed camps, uh, I, I think, in this where some people say the shell makes all the difference in the world and that, you know, you have to have a very specific ply configuration and a very specific type of wood to get a certain sound. And then there are some folks um, on the other side, kind of like me, that believe that the wood and maybe the shell configuration itself is not as big of a deal and that it's really more the hardware and um, things like the bearing edge and the way that the drums are made that uh, makes more of a difference. Certainly, in my opinion, the heads and the tuning makes far more of a difference than anything else. But that is exactly what we are uh, here to put to rest today because what we've got, like I said, we've got four different configurations, four different shell layups from Ludwig, but the hardware is all the same. So all of the factors should be exactly the same between these drums except for the shells themselves. So what we're going to do is, of course, there's got to be a blind test involved because I want to know if you can hear the differences between them. So let me tell you what drums we have on offer here, and then we'll do the blind test so you can check your ear and see if you can tell which is which, and then I'll demo them again with the names included, and we'll do this in two ways. We'll do it both with close mics on the drums um, on their own, and then I'll also do them just sort of all set out like this, just hitting back and forth so that you can hear them kind of all right next to each other, but then also isolated and with close mics. So that's the game plan. Let me tell you about the different shells real quick, and then we'll get right into the demo. So we have two different types of legacy shells and then two different types of classic shells. So the legacy shells, we have mahogany and maple, and then for classic, we have maple and oak. So the legacy shells are three ply with re-rings and then the classic shells are seven ply with no re-rings. So not only do we have some different wood types, but we have different uh, ply thicknesses and we have the variable of re-rings on or off. So like I said, my assumption kind of going into this is that I don't think there's going to be a huge difference between these, um, but that's what I'm excited to get into. Oh, by the way, before you at me, these all have the same heads and I have tuned them to be as precisely exactly the same as I could with the TuneBot. They are at 284 Hertz top and bottom heads. Now, whether any of these toms sound good or bad, that's up to you, but the point is that they are all at the same tuning. So we should be able to compare apples to apples regardless of whether you think this is the right tom tone for you. That's not really what we're getting at here. So without further ado, Let's get right into the blind test and uh, see what you can do.
All right, so here's the big reveal. I hope you have your answers written down. Tom one was the legacy mahogany. So that's this drum over here. The second one was the legacy maple. So those two drums were exactly the same layout wise, except there was mahogany in one and maple in another. So did you get those two correct? The third one was the classic maple, which is the seven ply, just all maple shell. That is standard as you can get. And then the fourth one, of course, was the classic oak. So how well did you do? I want to know in the comments below. I want to know, first of all, how well did you do? And then also, which did you prefer? Did you have a strong preference for one or the other? And why do you think that's the case if you did? So I'm going to run the demos back to back again with labels so you know which is which. Hopefully that doesn't change how you heard them. Uh, and then I'm going to just play them next to each other here. Again, Legacy uh, Mahogany, Legacy Maple, Classic Maple, and then um, Classic Oak. And I'm going to let you, once again, sort of formulate your opinions. And then I'm just gonna give you my impressions sitting here in the room with these drums. Okay, so let's talk about the sound of these drums in the room. Now we have this kind of interesting mismatch of information here because I haven't heard what the drums sound like under the microphones yet, and you have not heard what they sound like in the room. So let's compare notes here. In the room, with these drums right next to each other. Now, of course, there's a little bit of crosstalk because they're gonna make each other resonate, so that kind of conflates things a bit. But when I just sit here and go boom, 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 and hit them from left to right, they sound really, really similar. So similar that any differences I think that I can perceive, I could easily chalk up to slight variations in the tuning, which again, I tried to get it as exact as possible with the tune bot, but of course I might be, you know, a hurt or two off on, on one lug. So they sound 
virtually identical to me here in the room. Um, and if anyone set up a full kit of any of these, I would be totally happy with that. Now, I might be eating my words when I go back and, and listen to the recording afterwards because the differences may be striking. They may really come out. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to put in this brief addendum because I did actually start to notice more of a difference once I isolated the shells. I just got done doing the demo here with the shells all isolated from each other. And for what it's worth, I did notice the classic maple resonating the longest, probably with the classic oak, just a little bit behind that. Now, I'm not quite at the point of saying that that means definitively that that is the most resonant shell type. Um, there definitely could be minute tuning issues or there could be other effects at play. But uh, yeah, just to add in to what I'm saying about what I'm hearing in the room, I don't know what you're hearing through the mics, but the classic maple definitely had something going on that the other ones did not. So back to whatever I was saying. Um, so you're gonna have to tell me what you felt in the comments, what, what you felt were the differences, the, the subtle or not so subtle differences between them. But I'll just tell you as the only one in the room, and I'm not saying I've got, you know, savant audio engineer ears, but I do listen pretty critically and I've listened to many, many, many drums and these sound very, very similar to my ears in this room. So don't take my word as gospel. Let me know what you thought. Thank you for uh, following along with me. Hopefully this was of some help to someone. Uh, thank you again and I will see you in the next one.